Hey guys, it's Tuesday. That means it's DVD new release day. I am lucky enough to have the opportunity to early preview some of the DVDs before they hit the shelves on Tuesdays. So I thought it would be fun if I would kind of mini review them for you, let you know what's coming out on DVD this week. <laughs> There are quite a few movies coming out this week. Uh, we had the opportunity to early preview three of them. So this is kind of like a, hey, look what's coming out on DVD this week slash mini review, I guess. Um, so this week in DVD, the three movies that caught my attention the most was Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, and it had Tina Fey in it. A movie called Precious Cargo that had Bruce Willis in it. I thought for sure it would be a hit. And of course, the big one that's coming out this week is Kung Fu Panda 3. So these are the three movies out of everything that's coming out this week that I thought we would enjoy this weekend. We grabbed the movies. I went and watched them with some of our friends. We watched Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, which I think... Because it had Tina Fey in it, we all were under the impression that it would be a comedy, and it is not. It's like, um, oh, I don't want to say a drama, but it's more serious movie. There were a few jokes thrown in, but they're not, they weren't anywhere near what you would expect from Tina Fey. So, even though we were all kind of waiting, I guess, for the funny stuff to start, it kind of ruined the movie for us. If you get this movie going into it knowing that it's not a comedy, I think you'd probably enjoy it. Tina Fey is a reporter. She gets sent over to, I guess it's Iraq, and she's trying to just come into her own as a reporter over there. So, uh, comedy? No, it was not. We were very disappointed it wasn't funny, but I really, I really think it was a decent film, and if you go into it knowing that it's not a comedy, I think you'll be okay. The second movie we watched was called Precious Cargo. It had Bruce Willis in it and Mark Paul Gosselier, is that his name? He was on Saved by the Bell. You know what I'm talking about. The guy from Saved by the Bell and this younger girl who really couldn't act. I'm sorry, she just couldn't. But, uh, and this younger girl are like, I don't know, partners in crime or whatever. And there's a deal that goes bad and... Bruce Willis is a bad, like, there are no good guys in this movie, I guess, because everybody's a criminal, but it was a pretty decent action flick. I'd never heard of it before, so I'm assuming it went straight to DVD, which is surprising because it had Bruce Willis in it, but everybody kind of agreed. The movie was good, just the, the, there was like maybe two main females in the movie, and neither one of them could act very well, or... They were so downplaying their characters that it just came off as bad acting, if that makes sense. I don't know, but the movie is definitely worth a watch. Lots of explosions, lots of action, um, that type of thing. So we all, uh, it was us and another couple, we all liked it. We just wished the actors had, the female actors had been a little bit better. And then we came home, and because Jesse loves cartoons and whatnot, which is hilarious because he's almost 40, but we watched Kung Fu Panda, and we both just laughed and laughed. It is so funny. It's, it's not like, you know, I expected it to be bad. We knew it would be pretty good. Um, I don't really know what all to tell you. Just want to send you some of my chi. Once you watch the movie, you'll understand. But anyway, yeah, so Kung Fu Panda was a definite hit. If you have littles or you like cartoons or you like Jack Black, that type of deal, you should definitely pick that up. So out of the three movies that we got, I'd say we had one hit, one kind of hit miss, and then one... But I think they're all worth a watch. I really think that Whiskey Tango Foxtrot would have been really good had, had we have gone into it knowing that it wasn't a comedy because when you're expecting a comedy or you're expecting a horror movie or something like that and then you start watching it and it's not it's a a drama or whatever and then you're like what the what the crap happened you when you have high expectations or certain expectations for a film when they don't meet those expectations it makes the film less enjoyable if that makes sense so as long as you get it knowing that it's not a comedy I think it'd be great and if you don't rent anything else or watch anything else this weekend definitely pick up Kung Fu Panda 3 it was funny funny so I guess that's it. If you live near me in Madisonville, make sure you swing by South Main. They have new releases for under three bucks. 
Um, the store manager up there is really nice. They have tanning beds and a workout room. I know a lot of places don't have video stores anymore. If you think your town doesn't have one, I highly suggest that you look in the yellow pages. The smaller ones are still out there. There are still video stores out there, and they would definitely appreciate your business. Yeah, I guess that's it, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not finished. I actually did a little vlog while I was at the video store this time, so you can tell me what I should watch next. So I'm going to insert the vlog after this, and I doubt I'll come back after that. So... If you watch the vlog, thank you, and as always, thanks for watching. See ya. So I solved the witch already. I don't care to watch Kindergarten Cop 2. I don't care to watch that. Mm, we've solved Deadpool. I want to get the boy. So you guys are going to tell me what, what you think I should watch next. So I want to get the boy. Um, Fifth Wave, we've already seen. Abandon looked like it might be pretty good. Um, I want to see Ride Along 2, but I haven't seen Ride Along 1, so I want to get those together. And I know I want to watch Krampus. Um... And then Jane Got a Gun we watched a couple weeks ago. Remember I said it was pretty good. And then that's the stuff off of their older new release wall. And then these are new releases too. I think we're going to get Zootopia because I haven't saw it yet. And then... Her shelves look really empty, but it's because she's getting ready for tomorrow's new release day. So... I want to watch 13 Hours, but I'm scared that it will be so political I won't like it. But everybody says it's really good, and my dad was telling me, like, some of the true stuff, like the guy that gets killed in that movie, they didn't go into detail, and it was pretty horrific what happened to him. So, kind of want to watch that. I definitely want to see My Big Freak Week Greek Wedding 2. That came out last week. None of those look very good to me. London Has Fallen. That was pretty good. If you remember, I did a video on that already. Ten Cloverfield Lane we already watched. Pretty good. I didn't get Eddie the Eagle. I want to get it too. I've heard really good things about it. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What movies should I get next? Comment down below if you've watched anything good lately and let me know.